How's it going? for a dive even though it looks shit it looks pretty bad but I'm gonna still try never give up all right we're good all right we got about 10 meters and the engine just turned off again so um definitely mission abort we're not going to get a lot of the water's the water shit the engine's breaking oh, Victor just found out what happened we've got a split here all right. See that? I don't know if you can. So what does that mean? It's just not getting fuel there, I think. Wow, so how are we going to get fuel in to get back? Uh, that little screw right there. Might fix the problem. Great. Yeah. Any advice on what not to do? To avoid this from happening, or is this just... Check your hoses. Yeah. Check your gear before you go out into the ocean. At least we found out what was wrong. Yeah. You got that thing? I think it's down here. At least we didn't have to... Oh, we might have to Go back to calling it quits, I'll give it a go. Now we know what's wrong. Oh, I don't know. I really want to go to the Yeah, it does look pretty clear. <laughs> you have to pump it in? Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> you might have to throw the anchor in again. Oh, look, I'm so crap. So we're just going to be anchoring and we're kind of, kind of rolling into the wave zone. So it's getting pretty rocky up here. Um, even though we found the answer to the problem as to why the motor kept uh, just dying. Um, I know, it's still not starting very easy because there's like no fuel in the motor. Is that right? Victor's gonna swim out and try to pull the anchor out a bit further so we um so we don't oh, oh my god everything's breaking where's your mask here no. his mask just broke oh Got it going. Whenever I swim, 20 pools later, going. But it feels like I'm gonna conk out again. But we'll see if Emily can hurry up, maybe. She, she might be able to. It'd be good if she could. Who, who brought her along? Forget what I said about Yamaha. Daddy, there's money, so it might be bad luck. No, I don't say that. Um, Alright, yeah. I reckon we're going to call it a day. Mission of hot. It's not like the base is broken last. The engine broke down twice. The water's shit. And we almost washed up on shore in the middle of my car. So, we're going to shore. And um, we're going to try this all out another day. I've got a bit of the vice as well. Buy a brand new motor. Buy a brand new boat. <laughs> Don't, don't go out in the ocean unless it's brand new. Uh, Hi, it's Emily again with Victor. We um we broke down again.
Victor still wants to go for a dive, so we're just gonna gonna relax a while, gonna give our arms a rest. And um Yeah, try to enjoy the scenery. This was like this is like <laughs> in like the top two worst days we've had out on the boat. Um the other time we lost the motor and it was like the middle of winter and it was raining and um, and we actually lost the motor like in 40 meter deep water and the coastal marine did have to come save us and we were just vomiting all the way in and it was freezing cold and it was really awful like that will be a hard day to beat for the worst day um so this was eventful but i still had a pretty good time so because you got no worries. <laughs> Victor was, I said to the camera before, I was like, oh, Victor never stresses and he really stresses now. <laughs> and you're like, where are you carrying on? I didn't film that because I didn't even know if you'd hear it. Um, yeah, I'm going to lose all these spear fishing stuff. We were going to tip the boat. Like, I don't even think I was filming at like the climax of how intense it was. Wow. I don't think I was filming at the climax of how intense it was. <laughs> Not even helping this film. I was helping. I was being the anchor in and out and you know, keeping an eye out and bringing the coast of marine every five minutes. Poor on the scale one again. Yeah. You don't have to come get us. <laughs> well, no, I've come down again. I know, very depressing. Yeah, so.